So my journey with microdosing psilocybin has been nothing but a positive experience. I've noticed improved mood, more energy, clarity of mind, and a lot more. I'm going to tell my full story of microdosing for 500 days. But first, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of psilocybin and mushrooms, where they possibly started ingesting them, and how they were integrated into Western society. Those cave paintings that you saw in the beginning are thousands of years old and been found across the world, including Australia, Algeria in Africa, Spain, and Mexico. So we're not absolutely certain that those cave paintings were psilocybin mushrooms, but we know for a fact that in Mexico, the Aztec and Mayan cultures took psilocybin mushrooms for religious and shamanic practices. The Aztecs depicted psilocybin ingestion in a lot of their drawings and paintings, and they called the psilocybin mushroom Teo Nanacatl, which literally translates into the god mushroom. Members of the Aztec upper class would often take Teo Nanacatl at festivals and other large gatherings and at ceremonial practices. Psilocybin mushrooms were known to the Mayans as Kaizala Oko and were often consumed for ritual ceremonies. Artifacts called mushroom stones have been found and represented the importance of psilocybin in the Mayan culture. So the West is fairly new to psilocybin mushrooms, only about 75 years compared to the rest of the world, which is thousands of years. In 1955, a man by the name of Robert Wasson, who was in the studies of ethnomycology, took an expedition down to Oaxaca, Mexico to partake in the Mazatec mushroom ritual. His experience was so profound with psilocybin that in 1957, he published an article with Times Magazine called Seeking the Magic Mushroom that explained his experience. The article sparked a lot of interest in psilocybin mushrooms and hundreds if not thousands of people went down to Oaxaca, Mexico to experience the mushroom ritual. And then unfortunately in 1973, the federal government made psilocybin mushrooms a schedule one drug and illegal to possess. So I've been microdosing psilocybin for a little over 500 days now, and I've noticed so many positive benefits. I started my wellness journey quite a few years ago, and during my research, I came across the idea of microdosing. I believe that microdosing psilocybin has put my wellness journey into hyperdrive and has drastically improved my mental health. Maybe this can help you on your own wellness journey as psilocybin has been researched and proven to help with depression, PTSD, migraines, and more. So I wrote down everything that I've experienced in my notebook, and I broke it all down into five categories. In each category, I'll share with you more detail of what I've noticed. So the strain that I have specifically taken are called the Golden Teachers, also known as Psilocybe Cubensis. So I've had a lot of things I've experienced with psilocybin. The first thing I've noticed is improved mood. I used to have terrible mood swings. I would get so angry that it was to the point where I would break and hit things. And my mood has completely stabilized. I'm generally happy almost every day. I have no temper and my patience is on another level. I can't say that I can credit psilocybin to all of improved mood because I'm really into fitness and things like that and writing and reading, but psilocybin has definitely played a huge part in my mood stabilization. Number two is virtually no depression. If you're watching this and you don't know, I sustained a spinal cord injury and it was very traumatic and I was very depressed. I thought my life was over and psilocybin has helped a lot with depression. It's been known to help with trauma and rewire your brain and create new neural pathways. So I can say that psilocybin has most definitely helped with depression. I'm more engaged with life and I wake up with a very positive mindset. Number three is improved exercise. And this is something I've definitely noticed with working out. If I take psilocybin about a half an hour to an hour before my workout, I can lift longer, I feel stronger, I have more energy, and I most definitely have a better mind to muscle connection, which is very important when you're working out and lifting heavy weights. Number four is improved cognitive function. Now this is something that I think psilocybin has played a huge part in. I have a clear mind, I have better creativity, I can focus more with reading and writing, 
I can hold my attention to tasks better. I can do deep work longer. My ideas flow much easier and I have much better organizational skills. After about a year of taking psilocybin, I've noticed that my organizational skills have really improved. And number five, which I think is one of the most important, is gratitude. And I live in the now, which is very important. If you live in the past or the future, it can create a lot of anxiety. So it's very crucial that you live in the now. So those are the five things I've noticed and bottom line is that it can improve your life in every field. If you're looking to excel in your life and just get better, I most definitely recommend psilocybin. It helps you become a better problem solver in life and like I said before, it can put your wellness journey into hyperdrive. So unfortunately, psilocybin is illegal in most states and I don't condone the use of illegal drugs and you didn't hear this from me, but they're not very hard to get. Just recently, Colorado has decriminalized psilocybin and so has Oregon. And Oregon has opened up psilocybin clinics that administer psilocybin supervised for depression, PTSD, and migraines. Thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of this. I'm going to be making more videos on how to improve your life. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, friends, stay strong, stay active, stay creative, and go help yourself. Over and out.